And hello, my friends. OU gets a win but loses a very important player at OSU in Kansas State in a back-and-forth battle. We'll update you on that in just a minute. OU getting a win but losing its best pass catcher. That's a tough trade. Now, as we go to Norman, Barry Switzer unveiling his statue before the game tonight. OU off to a slow beginning in this one. From the belldozer formation, freshman quarterback Blake Bell carries to the end zone. And after an AM field goal, 7-3. 13-10 at the half. OU with 20. 28 unanswered points. Jazz Reynolds with another one-handed grab is 20-10. But again, the crowd going silent here after the reception. Ryan Broyles going down. He turns his knee awkwardly, and he is down more than just a moment. In fact, he is done for the year. More on that in a minute. Finch with a touchdown. Bell would score again in the icing. Landry Jones to Kenny Stills. OU now with two wins in a row after that loss to Texas Tech. 41-25, your final. Again, Broyles out for the year. His college career over with a game recap, Caden from Norman. Al, for the Sooners, that third quarter was the best of times. 28 points in less than seven minutes really was the difference in this victory over a and But that third quarter was also the worst of times as the NCAA's all-time leading pass catcher, Ryan Broyles, tears his ACL. He is out for the year. We're all, you know, disappointed for, for Ryan, for sure. He's uh, such a special, special player that everyone's talked about all year. And... And for that to happen is really, uh, you know, just to fighting. He's a captain, you know. He's a, he's, he's a, you know, kind of like the focus point of our offense, and uh, he's a big part of the whole team. And for to lose lose a captain is, uh, is it's tough. You know, the things that he's done here throughout his career are, are remarkable. Uh, they're once in a lifetime deals. Uh, and, uh, you know, so he's a special player. It goes without saying, there is no one single player on this OU roster who can replace the production of Ryan Broyles. It's going to take a team effort. The offense will, will, will continue just as it has been. Uh, obviously, he's a big piece that's not there, but, um, you know, other guys will have to step up and make those plays. Yeah, someone's got to step up. You know, someone's got to fill in that spot and, and be able to play and play at a high level. Um, we got a lot of talent. Uh, at the receiving core around this place, so someone's got to step up and play. With Ryan going down, it's, uh, everybody just has to step up, not just me. You know, uh, you know, me, me, Kenny, and um, Dewan, we all have been out there. We just have to uh, step up for Ryan because you know, if he's not there, some, somebody has to make the plays, and it, it, it's gonna, it's gonna work out. Al Broyles caught two passes for 87 yards today. His career reception total stands at 349. Nobody who's played the game of college football has caught more passes. Just a shame to see it come to an end here today, but what a marvelous career he has had. In Norman, where the Sooners do defeat Texas A&M, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you.